if we implement this project, I think it is good for Somalia to strengthen the rule of law program, and we will gain, like the building is, faculties and trainings, as we have prepared in the letters or the building of the contract. Uh, in our office, Attorney General is the key of rule of law program. We are supporting the other institutions, uh, and we are the key uh, for the participation of the in, in, uh, for the other institutions such as the police, the courts, and the custodial courts, which we work together for the fighting uh, against the crimes such as the terrorism cases, piracy, human smuggling, and other crimes which are, at this, at this time, we like to fight them. So, welcome to uh, your ambassadors and the other honorable ministers and the other dean's wishes who have participated in this meeting. Welcome, and that's the word we can say to, uh, today. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما أنت واحد في حد وين نوعه مشروعي joint rule of law أنت بدن سو سعودي أنت بدن أي مسوق إني إن جب جبدي سي هرجرين تي سي ما أنت صحيح سي لا فديو مشروع عاص أو أح مشروع مهيم أح أنا أح عدالة الضلك أم بهذا عدالة أم نجا iyo wasaaradaha kale ee xiriirka la leh farxad weyn bay runtii noo tahay alxamdulillaah baan leenahay maanta gabagabadii haduu marayo ilmuhu foosha marka ku raago Soomaalida waxa uu bixisa raage marka uu dhashana laba wan qalood baan laga qalaa mashruuc uu raage laakiin maanta laba wan qalood baan ka qalayna alxamdulillaah waxa uu gabagabadii sadeynu marayno waan uga mahadcelinaynaa dawladda Sweden oo fundis kale iyo ee yuuda iyo dhamaan intii ka soo shaqeysay ba iyo shaqaale weynaha UNTP waana idin salaam ya oo salaam aleykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Tony Channel I've named it all I think uh, welcome to Hargeisa and we welcome uh, the program and I think it will help in many ways it will help the rule of law program uh, which uh, is taken participated by all of the uh, by all of the by the courts by the attorney general by the minister of interior and also not least human rights commission thank you hari lidiya hugud wasiirka arimaha gudaha wasiirka qorsheynta qaranka wasiirka cadaalada taliyash sare ciidamada gudoomiyaha hoggaansanka unsom labada safir ka kala socda EU iyo Sweden ee madaxda kale ee qaranka marti sharafta mudanta dhamaantii ba salaam aleykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh runaati sidi ragiga horeebay dhaheen wa kulankeena waa mid runtii aan ka rajeynayno inuu ka diwanaado intii hore ee uu soo maray ee wuxuu runtii qorsho far badan oo balaaran oo wasaaradaha iyo hay'adaha kala duwan ee qaranka uu leeyahay wax lagu qabanayo waa kamid ah sida daraadeed waxaan rajeynayna inuu sidii samaxan lahaa uu hirgalo ee waana uga mahadcelinayna safiirka yuuda iyo suudan si gaar ah ee wax qabadkooda iyo waliba ee doorka ay ku leeyihiin ama ay ka qaateen ee wax weeyaan in dalkan ay doorasho ka dhacdo iyo sida uu dareenaya nabadiisa iyo degenaanshihiisa iyo jiritaankiisa qarnimada Soomaaliya aad baan uga mahadcelinaynaa soo noqnoqodkooduna waa uga mahadcelinaynaa ee laakiin waxaan rajeynaya in inay wax walba si wanaagsan u dhici doonaan ka wasaarad ahaan anagu waxaan ka mid ahayn dadkii waqtiga dambe ku soo biiray waa wasaarad xiriirka golayaasha iyo arrimaha dastuurka ee intii madaxweynahan cusub uu wadanka qabsaday ayaa lagu soo daray sidaa daraade waxa kale oo la hoos keenay hay'adda ee dibo habaynta shuruucda law firm commission ee sidaa daraade waxaan isleenahay waxa tihiin wasaaradda maanta 
ugu hawl badan ugu mudnaan badan xaga hawshan inuu gacanta ku haynno waxaan kala oo rajeynaya ee marka aan ka hadlay mudan harmonization and the law reform legal research the rating law review and reform especially outdated laws legal advocacy and promoting rights civic education program on somali land constitution capacity building and legal training constitutional reform initiatives initiatives development and uh and drafting laws ee si kastaba ha ahaatee waxaan isla yahay maadaama intii nidibay ogti heen kana qayb qaadatay dalkan in la doonayo sanadkan 2020 inuu inuu galo ee doorashooyinka baarlamaanka iyo ku wii golaha deegaanka anaga ka wasaarada han maadaama nahay wasaarada xiriirka golayaasha iyo arrimaha dastuurka door weyn oo muhiim ah baan ku yeelanayna iyo hawlku talagalkeedu uu ka balaaran yahay sidii aanu markii hore qorsheeyneen waxaan rajeynaynaa guud ahaan qaranimo iyo gaar ahaan wasaarada heed baan aad shuntii waxaan kala qaban doontaan arintaas aad iyo aad noo mahadsan tiin assalam alaykum warahmatullaahi wasiirka dastuurka iyo xilka golayaasha xiraaliyaha guud wasiirka cadaalada xiraaliyaha guud sanadada immigration ka bulshada iyo asluubta ambassador ka EU Nicholas Berlaga iyo ambassador ka Sweden Stefan Peter Peter Stefan Stefan Tillander sorry Simon Onsoma محمد محمد بارود مدحت كريه شوكتا تدوينا كسوق قريب جلي يمضن تبا سلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نقبر خاتم ما نخن قرننا ما أنت الشيء كان هل كان لو خلاص يا حنايو وحنادي يا دوب هنغيا لبدا السفير إيو ديو يسويدن إلى أنت أي شوجين ومركي صدحات عن كسوق قريب جلوه حفلة ما وحرقوا خلاص يا حنيه مشروع لو خلاص يا حنيه أما مد لو ده فريه هذه يا دانو بهذا غير فحين نوم وقتها إن هذه يا دا الوين كجيسنيا وده كان بهذه سيسيد هرمر كيس أي قيب هو جيسن هاي وأنا مد أنا روح السوسان إنه أنا روح من هاي إن شاء الله هنا وحن شاء الله هاي مستقبل كنا إني سيكر ليان وسيدر درج ليان وحيلتها هي هاو شمان تهل كان مشروع عن سياحي سوق دعيو ومشروع عادي عاد لوجو بهاني هاي قارن كنا لوجو بهاني هاي شعب هان اللو بهاني هاي أقول تهد رأي إنه كل يرتاح هاي لون بهاني هاي إنه دمان تنهر رأي إنه كتاعنا إنه وإنه كوا ذقيب قاضي إنه تحسن إنه كسوق بجبين يا عادي عاد نوم ما تنتين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Maybe you recall the workshop where you had, you were leading and there were police, both female and male police present and there was discussions about the need to reform the police service and strengthen it. And uh, Safar knows this well because he was there uh, working to, 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 to arrange this and work with the government to set it up. Uh, and the UN has played a very important role in this from the beginning. Also then when the justice and corrections workshop happened a few months after that. So it's two years ago that this started and now there is a comprehensive rule of law program. And this is very important for several reasons. One is that it's easy for us as partners to support a, a program like this where we have a clear government lead and where the whole of the UN is involved in an integrated manner and we as partners can support the program as a whole, not specific individual things, but rather a comprehensive long-term program. And this is how it should be and it's particularly important in the area of rule of law because security in any country depends very much on the whole rule of law chain. The police courts, corrections, and overall the principles of human rights and respecting the principles of human rights. And I won't go into any more of that. Ministers have spoken already about the importance of this. 
But the significance of this, this year in Somaliland with the elections 2020 is considerable because Somaliland will show both a starting point for a rule of law reform program and parliamentary election 2020. And this is a very important uh, illustration of progress and democracy and how peaceful uh, coexistence and security can be ensured. And uh, I think maybe in other areas as well, it may be useful to look towards the possibility of comprehensive programs like this, maybe in the maritime area, where Sweden is engaged with some support through EU CAP and the European Union supports to the Coast Guard. And uh, maybe this is an area where the UN, together with EU CAP and European Union, can work with the government to see how, how one can get a comprehensive. Uh, and we are very happy to do this together with the European Union and Ambassador Nicolas Berlanga. Uh, we are a member of the European Union, so we are working through different channels to support this program. But it's also a sign of the importance the European Union attaches to, to rule of law. But let me also say how important and the, the role of the UN and the integrated UN team has been in this work. And I think uh, as Sweden we are very proud always to work with the UN. It's a strong su support for us globally and, and in our work. And we're also happy to have police uh, Tommy here working with the UN. We had previously Liban uh, Sharif working with corrections. And we are very happy that we are part of the UN and we are very happy that the UN is providing a strong support to Somaliland through this program and other means. So thanks Simon for your leadership on this and thanks to the UN for your coordinated one UN approach to continue to support Somaliland on this. Thank you. Uh, the Attorney General, uh, Your Excellency's Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I stand up now and I feel a little bit like the student who has not done his homework. Um, the, in, the, in their introductory remarks, the Attorney General gave a very comprehensive uh, background to the development of this uh, program, uh, which the, the Swedish ambassador shaded in the additional detail. Um, the Minister of Justice also spoke uh, about the, the importance of the programme and then again the, 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 His Excellency the Swedish Ambassador added uh, comments on the, the, what we hope will be the benefit of an integrated UN approach. It draws together not only the United Nations Development Programme, also UN Women, the United Nations Office of uh, Drugs and Crime, um, United Nations Children's Fund and also my own organization UNSOM. So when I say that I stand uh, in front of you uh, rather like the, 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 the uh, mischievous student who has not done his homework, basically everybody who has spoken has basically said what I would have said. So let me uh, perhaps just look forward uh, with a couple of brief comments. Um, the breadth of cooperation amongst the different ministries of the government of Somaliland, uh, the commitment of the international community reflected by the contributions from the European Union and from Sweden, uh, underlines the importance and the relevance of this. The challenge now uh, for us in supporting uh, the government, its ministries, its commissions, its professional staff, is to now just get on with it. We've had ample time to plan, we've had ample time to discuss, and as the, minister, as the Attorney General said in his opening remarks, uh, it's now time to, to turn to action. We look forward to working with you, we look forward to working closely uh, with the government, we look forward to keeping uh, the, the, the Embassy of Sweden and the, the Office of the European Union informed as to, as to progress. Um, we appreciate that uh, not only do the institutions of Somaliland, of the European Union and of Sweden have high expectations, but also do the public, uh, or the, 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 the population of Somaliland and the taxpayers of the European Union and of Sweden have uh, very reasonably high expectations that uh, 
this project should make something different, uh, should make a change, should answer the question, why did we do this? We look forward to working with all of the partners around the table here today um, and we look forward to getting on with that now. With that, we would thank the two uh, contributing governments or Government of Sweden and the European Union. We would thank them for their financial support and we look forward to acting with them and with the government on this. Thank you. I'm, 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 I'm really happy to have all of you uh, here this morning. And uh, that allows me to, to at least share with you one idea that I think it is very important, which is please do not look at this intervention just as a list of gifts, as a list of Christmas gifts. And I, I, I know that the Minister Kahim very soon will come with a list saying, we need that, we need that. <laughs> Please think more strategically. Of course, there should be a list of, of uh, things to reinforce the capacities. But there should also be this idea that my colleagues have already reiterated of working together, you working together, and us supporting you working together for the benefits of your citizens, for the benefits of, of the uh, people of Somaliland. Safirko Huiri and Mashro and Hawka, the Nina Inui had yet so much salad so at the end of Christmas, Kaleskusio, and Wayo Huiri, and one open in Uchiro, Bahio Koran or Lisa. Also, or Sarah Casaso could be sent. Bahia has Koran, and during the law, or Mashur and Law, Katun Nodo, Mid Hochia, a scash again. I got the idea. See the Ludo Utagerto and Shaka, a Rersomalan, more than Interersomalan, or after the cafe is sent him Shuru and a Lo Utalakale. And please do not look at this project that we are signing today as an stand alone intervention. You know all the partners around the table, we have been with you for the last 25 years and we have the, the willingness and the, the engagement to be with you for another at least 25 more years. So this is only a step. Let's do it well, but let's keep it this global idea that we are uh, working a long way together. <laughs> تاجر هذا كلي مدو غيروب عايزين يعني دولة سمالان لكن هي شن يلاتن كيس نودن بي مدو غيروب كرب تاجنا أو بربر تاجنا أو لسه هي سمالان وحنا نجيب قان هذي نقول نص شن يلاتن خلاص صوص عدنا إنا نجرب جرب تاجنا إنه لكن هي أنا لو قادم تاجر هذا إنه إنه كوكوبان تاي تاجر هذا مدو غيروب مشروع عن كلي إنه كوكوبان تاي إنت هو يكبر لارن تاي وحنا كوك قطن تاع إسكاشي <laughs> we, we have a, a very sincere and open and frank dialogue with the government and with the civil society of Somaliland. And we look at the things in this comprehensive idea. And I, I cannot avoid mentioning that for this year there is this engagement of the elections and this project may contribute to that as the project the Ministry of Planning and myself we signed uh, on Saturday with the civil society or, or many other activities that we are developing these days is this idea of working together for the benefit for the benefit of your citizens <laughs> وهذا الشقين قصة بلا مثل وهذا حاجود يدوره قصة أصلاً سيد الله وهذا الشقين لها ومشاريع عندنا ميدو غيور بيفولني أنا وهذا الشقين لها يعني سيد وكلا والسفير كوا وسط كحريقي مهي مدة ومشروع عن أولي هاي سمالان أو يدور شوي في سمالان يتاجر هذا ميدو غيور بوسيو دولة سمالان مشاريع عندنا كل دول سوى تسعلا سوى قطعي وسير كقرشين تا مشروع عي وهذا صحيحين so please be sure that we will be close to you in the next month, in the next year, 
to your services, and we will put all of our strength as EU, as EU member states, as EU CAP, uh, as other, will put all this together really to work with you, with all of you in your institution, uh, again to develop this vision about Somaliland. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mahasani. Labada Safira Pastor Midoka Europe is Safirka Dalka Sweden. Harry Lalia good. Madaha had the Unsom Okawa Kela to Manta or Maka Hasi had the UNDB. Tom or Ah Sarkalka in the Galasha Kaya Abima, I don't matter Belisca you. إذا ماذا كلابا جنرال الله ذا تلياش إذا ماذا قدوميها هيدا حقوق الإنسان كا إن وزارة داخلك شركة فردية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like first of all to thank for the two ambassadors ambassador of the EU European Union and Ambassador of the Swedish government who very much work with the Somaliland government and who were participating in many events of developmental programs in the Somaliland government. In this occasion, we are signing today this project of the rule of law and as the ministers and the two ambassadors said, this is the base of the governance of Somaliland and anywhere in the world. If you have a security, then you will have a good governance working in every area. As you know, the two ambassadors are not new to uh, Somaliland affairs, is that the Somaliland government, it spends almost 40% of its budget with the security org organs of Somaliland. And as they say, where there is water, there is life. Where there is security, there is a working institution of the government. And in our location as Somaliland government, we share borders with Djibouti, with Ethiopia, and with Somalia. And we have almost something like 850 kilometers of coast. Coastline. Of coastline. We are facing mainly the Gulf of Aden, the main area that we have got that border of the coast is the Yemen. And we know the term is going, what's going on in, in, in Yemen, all terrorist activities they come to Yemen. We are sure the border of Ethiopia and Somalia which is close to Somaliland and Ethiopia which is close to 1000 kilometers. And we have something the same, almost, border with Somalia, with the member um, the state of, so of Somalia, Puntland. We have working with the Ethiopian government in terms of the security. Our security organs are working together. The police of Ethiopia is working with our police, the immigration, the national army. We have got a constant meeting and we are working together. But we don't have any partner with the Somali government. And the area, the effort and the operations and the management and the basis of the terrorists is mainly concentrated in Somalia. It's about 40 kilometers from Bosaso, so we always get penetration of these terrorists from that area. I think for the last um, month or two months, we have so many um, deadly um, operations and members of the Al-Shabaab, that our police force and the immigration force, they succeeded to, to capture these, um, these uh, terrorist groups. We have also something close to 100 cases of, um, of, um, of terrorist activities in which our judicial organist, uh, Antony General and the, um, and the courts have already sentenced them here in the Somaliland. Um, Prisoners. Now, 
We get support for the, our policy. We may not list, give a good, a, a long list, but it's very important to note that uh, in the terrorist activities, there was only the UK government who was supporting the city UK, uh, terrorist, counter terrorist unit and the two terrorist uh, um, units of the RRU and the SPU. So the support of the UK government is going to be finished by 31st March of this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of this year. So I think it is, it is ambassador. It's waiting the EU member states, including the EU ambassador, in order to substitute the aid of the UK government for the terrorist activity unities of Somalia. <laughs> and I think, as I have said, this long border with Ethiopia and with Somalia, in which you know and you came from Mogadishu, how deadly movement is of the terrorists is going on in Somalia, is that we were for a long time asking for the European Union and non-member states of the EU to have Somaliland an expansion of the uh, SPU and the RRU. It's very important for the time being. And I think we'll discuss and we'll submit our list <laughs> and our requirements <laughs> after we sign this ceremony. But I will only say uh, this is a very comprehensive um, project in which all members of the security forces, the Minister of Justice, um, I'm sorry to say that the, um, the Chief Justice was not present and he sent us a message that he was busy with um, something very busy with the courts. So the courts, the human rights, the Minister of um, Parliamentary and Judicial Affairs of Somaliland, and the Minister of Interior. This is a comprehensive project in which it is involved in all institutions and government ministries and security forces in which we are work, working with the security. And the Somaliland government, as the ambassador said, was working with the United Nations and with the European Union for the last 25, 27 years. And we will remain that we are working with the standards of these organizations. But we have to know one thing, that until such time, we reinforce the security of Somaliland. It will be very difficult to overcome the activities of the terrorism activities. We thank very much um, for this project. We believe that it will do a lot for the, um, for the concerning organizations and the judiciary organ that it will do something about the development and the sustainability of the security of the country. We we'll thank you very much, and especially for the Swedish government in supporting with the EU CAP, with our Coastal Guard. But still, we remain asking that the Coastal Guard is, and it is a small boat, it will be very, very, very difficult for them to operate <laughs> from the border of Djibouti almost to Bosasa. We've got eight kilometers from Bosasa, our border, to Djibouti. So now we, are, we have, I think, um, something like close to 20 boats carrying ammunition and guns who have captured them in the coast. Yeah. So, I, we thank you very much. Um, you know the minister, what he said. Um, if the baby is delayed by in burning, sometimes in, 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 in the Somali culture we have a woman which is going to have pregnant for 12 months, for 15 months. <laughs> 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 for, for the normal circumstances, of a baby burning in, in, in this time, we have a, a ceremony 
But when the baby is delayed, we have two sermons. So the minister said that this project has been delayed for two years, so now we need two sermons. <laughs> we thank very much, and we work closely work with the Minister of National Planning for the coordination of these projects. We'll be working with your organization, Simon, the UNSOM, the UNDB, and we will remain working with them. So this organization, including the Human Rights Commission, um, they are working together. We have got a very big, big um, training with the police, rank and fire, with the immigration, and with the human rights. And we are trying to um, keep the sustainability of this training is in order to train our young officers um, for learning them about the issues of the human rights. Now we are in the process of developing the women in the police. We have got a very good number, including officers. So we are now um, going to deploy them in the different departments of the bulls. So this deployment of the bulls, I think we need a special um, approach for enhancing their training and their program so that they could be, uh, now they are within the police, but we want to um, strengthen them, the women activity in the police, we are now training cadet officers of the police and the army in the um, army academy. They are doing very, 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 very good, um, including and also in this activity of the anti-terrorist organs, the Department of the Immigration needs to be reinforced in immigration posts, in the equipment and so on. Now they have got almost um, a good number of immigration posts. So, um, one thing I think I will conclude with one thing is that Berbera, in history, was a very long, in a very long time, was a hub in human <coughs> trafficking in the about 200, 300, 400 years. So, we have this problem of human trafficking within the borders of the neighbor countries. So that's why we need that to enforce the immigration department, that immigration department. We thank you very much for the support and personally for the two ambassadors. They are very closely working with the Somaliland government. They are giving a very, spending a very, 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 very um, good time of their time in Somaliland, in the coastal guard, in the immigration, in the Minister of Justice, Coastal, uh, Custodial Guard, Minister of Interior with the Tis Minister and Police Forces will be working with you and we thank you very much.